Hello and good evening, guys. It is Sunday, November 14th, 2021. It's uh, 11.48 p.m. as I'm filming this, literally. Uh, since it is still Sunday night, that means it is time for us to gather for yet another uh, Rockzilla's Weekly Roundup podcast. This time around, there will be a special visual, but I will share that later on in the video. It's a return of a backdrop that... I like to do every year now as part of the holiday season. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into talking about all of the NFL uniform matchups for the week. Uh, now, it's been a few days since I uh, got my second COVID vaccine. So I must say the first couple of days after I got vaccinated, I wasn't feeling the greatest, but now I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, so if I was a little bit quiet in terms of making videos the past few days, that's been why. Um, but I am happy to report that I'm doing a lot better now. But anyway, let's get into, uh, the uniform matchups of the week. So for the NFL, so let's go back to Thursday where Miami upset the Ravens. The Ravens wore black pants and socks with their white jersey. And the Dolphins wore teal jerseys, well, aqua, whatever, white pants, aqua socks. Even though it's not their throwback uniform, when they wear the right combos, their current home away jerseys and uniforms are actually not bad. They're not the greatest. They could be better. They could be the throwbacks, which I would overwhelmingly prefer over these. But you know what? The teal-white-teal combo with their white helmets ties in very nicely. Very decent-looking uniform, even though it's a little bit on the plain side, but it actually does look good. Moving on, the Cowboys today absolutely spanked the, the Falcons. 43-3 today. Yikes. If you're a Falcons fan, if you're a Cowboys fan, you must feel like you're on cloud nine. But the Cowboys wore their standard white uniform against the Falcons wearing their black jerseys, white pants, and black socks. Is it me or have the Falcons maybe started to come to their senses with their new uniforms after having them in their rotation for a year now? It's nice to see. This will definitely make the next three seasons a lot more tolerable with these uniforms if they wear the right combos. Now, moving on, the Bills head-to-toe white. I I do not like that move by the Bills at all. I don't know why they can't just wear blue socks with that. It's a small, little detail that makes all the difference. But as for the Jets, green jersey, white pants, green socks. Thank you, New York Jets. Thank you for wearing a decent combo. When they wear that combo... Their uniforms are actually not bad. The white pants, green socks, whether it's their home or their away, and I'd even argue their third jersey would look good if they did that too. But, you know, when they wear their greener white jerseys with the white pants and green socks, you've got a hell of a combo. Now, speaking of very nice combos, the Browns brought back the orange pants, but I noticed they're not as good this season. I wonder why. But the Patriots, they wore their regular monochrome navy home uniform. And seriously, New England, you need silver pants. Dear Bill Belichick, I swear I remember hearing something about you complaining about the all monochrome navy blue look in the past. Please start complaining about it again now. You can get silver pants in some point this season. I know you guys can. Please do pull this through because your jerseys are an upgrade over what they replaced it's just the monochrome navy sucks but speaking of things that suck uh lately the word suck is not a good word to describe the patriots because they've been on fire lately i don't know what's going on with that team but lately they've just exploded they've got red hot it's like tom brady plays for them again or something which he doesn't but I'm just saying, that's how good they're playing. They spanked the Browns 45-7. to That's impressive. 
Now moving on, the Steelers wore their classic home uniform against the Lions wearing everything below the helmet white. The white pants are fine, even though I prefer the silver for the Lions, but you know, you gotta at least wear light blue socks, Detroit. But hey, if you, you are a Lions fan, even though you did not win, today was a good day. You're no longer O and something. You're now O something and one. You've at least got a tie now. So I know it's not a win, but hey, that's a step in the right direction. And I'm hoping that you Lions fans out there get to see your team at least win a game this year. That would be nice to see. Um, but moving on, the Jaguars. White jersey, teal pants, white socks against the Colts in their standard, classic, gorgeous home uniform today. Blue, royal blue jersey, royal blue socks, and white pants to put the cherry on the cake. But uh, the Jaguars wearing the white jersey, black helmet, teal pants, white socks look, I think it's a definitely a better look for them considering their away jersey basically has no teal. You know, especially now that the Jaguars, as of this season, have made teal their main color again instead of black, which I'm a fan of that move. Um, it's nice to see that the Jaguars are doing something to add some teal to their away jersey. That is a good thing. And hopefully moving forward, they're going to start wearing teal, at least teal socks with their away jersey much more frequently now. They have to, in my opinion. Um, moving on, the Saints. White jersey, black leotards. Black socks, yoga pant look. Jesus Christ, the Saints have worn, have a beautiful color rush uniform, and they continue to wear that crap. And they continue to wear monochrome. It's like, guys, Jesus Christ. But they gotta at least bring back the gold pants, my goodness. It, it's really, really a big shame when they don't, in my opinion. Uh, the Titans wore navy jerseys at home with powder blue pants and navy socks. Basically, they look like modernized uh, college football uniforms meets pajamas. Oh, well, at least that's what I think. Uh, moving on, the Bucks wore their white jersey, pewter pants, black socks against the Washington uh, football players. Or the football team, I mean. Burgundy helmet, jersey, white pants, burgundy socks. If you change the name, if you get a new logo, okay. But please do not change the uniforms, Washington. Beautiful look, and guess what? Washington pulled off an unbelievable 29-19 upset over Tom Brady and the Bucks today. Very impressive. Like, honestly, my jaw hit the floor when I saw that. I'm not going to lie. Moving on, Cam Newton has returned to the Panthers, and he helped them spank the Cardinals. Those red-hot guys from Arizona, that football team that is red, as red-hot as the desert they play in, the Mojave Desert. 34 to 10, the Panthers won. Very impressive. White jersey, white pants, black socks. Great uniform jersey combo against the Cardinals, doing the best they can with the horrible uniforms they got wearing red jerseys, white pants, red socks. The Vikings. Usually they get their combos right, but today, purple yoga pants because the socks were also purple. Against the Chargers, wearing their powder blue jerseys with bright yellow socks, or sorry, pants and light blue socks. The light blue and yellow pant combo is not a good look in my opinion. That's how I feel. But uh, moving on, the Eagles, for the first time ever, I hear, wore their black pants with their third jersey with their away white jersey today against the Broncos. And I'll get to the Broncos in a second. But the Eagles wore a, a black yoga pant look today with their away jersey. And honestly, the black pants work with that jersey and they work well. But for crying out loud, they've got to at least wear the midnight green socks. Or they've got to wear white socks. They've got to wear something to break up the, all the black with the pants. If they're going to wear that at combo again. It's... You know, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Eagles being 
one of those greenish teams in the NFL took a page out of the Jets playbook and got inspiration from the Jets to uh, elect to wear their uh, black pants with their away jersey. It's If they wear the right combos, the black pants can actually work, in my opinion, for the Eagles as well as the Jets. I actually think it'd be interesting to see the Jets home green jersey with their black pants and green socks, or even white socks. I think it would actually look all right. Not something I want to see all the time, but once in a while, I think it'd look all right. Now, moving on, the Broncos, their color rash jersey, the all-orange Denver County Jail prison jumpsuit look. It's not a good look. It's, you know, the orange, the jersey itself is great. The helmet is great. But they've either got to have a white pant option or even a matching navy blue option for that. But I'm just hoping they do what the Patriots do and make the color rush jersey the home jersey with a matching away soon. It's time. Denver, it's time. And they're so much better than your main look. The color rush jersey is. And it's time to make the switch. It really is. Uh, moving on, Seattle and the Packers. The Seattle Seahawks wore their standard away uniform. It's too bad they don't just always wear their action green socks regardless of their uniform. But something interesting I noticed so far this year in 2021, we have yet to see the Seahawks wear their wolf gray alternates. I wonder if they've been retired. I'll be curious to see if that's the case. But the Packers wore their standard home uniform. Moving on, um, I'm going to finish with the Chiefs and the Raiders because there's something that happened today that I've never seen the Chiefs do before. But I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, for tomorrow's game between the Rams and the 49ers, San Francisco will be wearing their throwback red uniform. And they're going to wear that against the Rams wearing their throwback inspired white alternate jersey. And they'll wear that with their bright athletic gold pants and royal blue socks. You know, it's nice to see the Rams doing something throwback-ish against a team like San Francisco wearing a throwback uniform against them. I think that's actually a nice touch. And that should be a decent looking match, even though the Rams' new uh, modernized uh, take on their old 80s white uniform, in my opinion... It's, uh, you know, it's not as good as the original, and that's by a monumental landslide, in my opinion. But, you know, the fact that the Rams have brought out this uniform, I know that a lot of people have been saying, I've read comments online, that it's better than the bone to a lot of people. It's a good sign. And even though I'm expecting an athletic gold flip of their current three jerseys they've got right now for their new alternate coming out next year in 2022, I have a feeling that they might make the away the white jersey, the new white jersey, a, a full-time third, or sorry, full-time away jersey and uniform. And that would go a long way to starting to hopefully turn the ugliness of their uniforms around at least a little tiny bit. You know, year season two of the rebrand, bring in this new uniform, season three of the rebrand, you know, then there, make that the away uniform, and then season four and season five, okay. Your uniforms suck, but at least it makes it a little bit better. Now, finally, the final matchup to cover is the Raiders, who wore their standard black uniform with silver pants. Always a wonderful look, in my opinion, against the Chiefs. Now, they wore their white jersey, but instead of their red pants, they wore their white pants with red socks, with their red socks. And I must say, I am a fan of the all-white with red socks for the Chiefs. In fact, I'm actually a little bit torn if whether I like, I'm not sure if I like it better or if I like the red pants better. But I know one thing, and I'll say this. I hope that the Chiefs wear the white jersey, white pant, red sock combo more often. It looked great, in my opinion. And, you know... 
I think their red pants with their white jersey looks fantastic. It, and I love the red pants. But I got to tell you, the white pants was a nice change. A really good look, in my opinion. But uh, as I kind of hinted earlier, here is the return of the Christmas light display. Uh, this I intend to use every week from here on in for the weekly roundups and maybe some other videos too. I haven't decided. I'm sure you'll see them more for more than just the roundups, but I thought I'd get the ball rolling already in November now that my family has put the lights up. So I figure it's better than looking at a black screen like that. So it's a nice change. And it gives you something a little bit more festive to look at. Now that Remembrance Day has passed, I have a bit of a personal policy. I believe that you shouldn't start celebrating Christmas anything until you've had a Remembrance Day, or I know it's called Veterans Day in the States, to take that time to reflect and uh, pay your respects to those who have fought and served for our countries to make our society the society of so many freedoms that we get to enjoy today because of the veterans' sacrifices. And, you know, I, I can't thank them enough, and I always like to acknowledge that every year because, to me, it is very important. And I don't want their sacrifices to ever be forgotten, and nor should they be. They went through hell so that our country's could have the freedoms that they have even to this day. And, you know, it's always something that I, I, I make sure that I pay my respects for. And it's also why I don't like doing anything Christmas-related until after Remembrance Day. Now, anyway...